Yeah, I'm gonna tell her if she wants you to stop cheating, to stop catching you. <laughs> That's all you just gotta do. I seen you at the Mint Condition concert. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I, was, I, was, I, was, I think I was hosting one night. Oh, and you killed it. Oh, oh my th thank you. God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank yo, you. I you're, always, you're yo, I always, yo, I always knew kind. my man Jack was funny, but that particular night was the first time, not gonna lie to you, that I saw you do stand up. Mm -hmm. And I was in tears, and I immediately text Nick and say, "You got to use him on Wild and Out or something." You had me in tears, man. I oh, mean, thank you, man. I appreciate. I was that. crying. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know. I mm -hmm. ain't gonna lie. I knew you was funny, and you know, when doing the interview and stuff. But I never saw you do stand up, and that it was like a pleasant surprise when you killed it. What up, it's your boy Peter Guns, and you know what it is. This is Fifty Dot Com. Keep it locked. And we sucking on the baba. <laughs> on the baba. On the baba. <laughs> Big guns on the one, two. Your chick break neck when I come through. Packing like I got the Mac on me, but I'm just the Mac with the swag on me. Snack a chicken, let a snack on me. Then would you believe her wish list? She got me spinning cheese like it's Christmas. She figures that my figure's up. Niggas what? Not giving a fuck? Then put your middle fingers up. Now follow me back to La La. Baby sucking the boo ba ba ba. Ha ha, you got stood up. You put up with the wrong shit. You need to grow a set and put your foot up. I mean foot down. What now? Nothing the money's here, nigga, we good now. Tough guy, got a little chatty on him. I should have put the ratty on him. I should have spit the semi audi Matty at him. Crew full of rats and they probably would have ratted on me. The feds lay with these niggas. You know them see something, say something, niggas. I'm not a robber, but we're robbing, though. With a bronze full of bloods that be mobbing and be popping, though. It's no drama, but you gotta know that if you fuck around with guns, I'ma send them at your mama's, though. Holla, yo. Holla, ho. You suck a mean dick. Do you swallow though? Basically, that's crass and distastefully. Is that a word? Distastefully? I dropped out in 10th grade, whatever the case may be. We could fuck, but your love is a waste for me. Bachelor, hey, bachelorette. I'll get you in my sack. I'll detach your neck. Pop your head clean off you. The scene in the house is awful. The shit'll make your spouse divorce you. Ooh, baby sucking the baba? <laughs> the baby sucking the baba, nigga? <laughs> You must be thinking the same thing I am. <laughs> Lunch. Well, yeah, media take out, they kill me. But they put some nice things up now, you know. Mm -hmm. So they even said my wife was deported in, and that wasn't true. Yeah, that's, I, I, I meant to ask her that last time I talked to her and whatnot. Yeah, no, nah, that wasn't true. I mean, she was here with me, so I didn't. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah, it was, was kind of weird. I was true. like, yeah, you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, you know, oh, he married her for papers. Not true. I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't marry somebody I didn't love. Mm. We ain't filed for no papers. We don't even know if we doing that. That's not even like a, that's not even on the radar. I wouldn't marry somebody I didn't love. That's it. Now mm. I was getting married under without getting out of the last situation with Tara. The right thing to do? Absolutely not. You know mm. what I mean? I should have did it the right way. Mm. But to say that I married somebody for anything other than I love them, I was offered fifty thousand dollars to marry a Russian chick when I was flat broke in '94. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You know, I, 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 um, this, this African girl tried to get me to marry for five thousand dollars and stuff. Uh, some you get you get people that twenties, fifteens, twelves, they they got, you know, this particular situation was desperate, they had money, and it was a it was a guy that had a Russian dude that had money that worked at a cleaners called um Madam Paulette, I'll never forget. And on sixty fifth street and second avenue and they you knew my brother. I, I never forget it because <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it was a couple years I was in regret mode. Like I should have got that money. Cause I would have been in and out and got that money, but I'm always said that if I'm going to marry, I gotta love the person and marry the person. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's disgusting to me when people say, like, "Married her for money" or "You married her for, for papers." I'm a disgusting ass nigga, cause I would damn sure enough marry <laughs> uh, Oprah or any chick that got. I married a chick with a million dollars. Well, I married a chick with a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> on some real shit. Now you know what? Today I married a chick for ten ten grand. I, I do ten grand. She is willing. Pay ten thousand dollars to buy a husband. Now that's just wrong. Yeah. Uh huh. Right, Sean? <laughs> now that's ten thousand dollars U.S. currency, right? I don't want to see Nelson Mandela on my money. How has your life changed from this? Because you you've known fame for a long time. Well, not like this. You know, like you got five million people tuning in a, a week to watch this show. Five million dollars. Five million people watch like. Did you sell five million records? No, I sold no. one million. You sold one million singles, by singles. the way. Yeah. 
ha, ha, has, the, has the singles jumped since then? I wouldn't know. That's uh, Steely Dan. You know, took they getting all that. You, you don't even give a fuck no more. Nah. You don't even like keep no record of that nah. shit because it's just that's their money, right? But you know, listen, the relevancy is there. But I'm relevant for reasons I wouldn't want to be relevant for for the reasons I'm relevant. But I'll take it. You know what I mean? What What do you want? To, what do you want to be relevant for? I mean, you know, look, I'm I'm. I'm a scumbag. <laughs> I'm like, you know, you married a chick while you were still living with your kids' moms, and and that's just the image that people have of me. So I would, you don't want to be relevant for those reasons, but I'm gonna take that and run with it. Yeah, I'm about to say this too. You you ain't gonna fix that though. I'm so not, you, like no, I said, no. embrace that shit. Oh, I'm go done. With it. And I said it to say too. You you want you don't look bad. No, my, it's entertaining. My you, apology, you a real life cartoon character, my Jack. Dog. My apology tour is done. President get caught getting his dick sucked. He say sorry one time. He don't dress it no more. Cool. I find myself addressing it everywhere. So this is my last uh, leg of the apology tour, and it is what it is. You don't like it, all you got to do is take your fucking remote and turn the channel. Mm. You know what I mean? It's that simple. If it's bothering you that much and I get on your nerves and you hate my guts so much, turn the fucking channel. Mm. And then turn back when somebody else's storyline on a whack fucking Erica Minna storyline or something. God damn. Um, shit. We're going to get to that in just a second. But this is what I want to know before we get there. Yo, why you and your girl don't wear a ring, man? Well, she threw our rings away. Who? Amina. Who? Am- Amina. That's, Amina is your, she's your wife. Yeah, we married. I don't understand that. Why would your wife throw her your, your rings away? Well. How did she get your ring to throw away? I can see I'm her be throwing her ring you, away. She caught me not wearing the ring. Okay. But were you asleep? Nah, I can't. Was it a real ring? See a sink. Was yeah. it real? Very real ring. She she was personalized. She wrote some a nice little thing in there inside the ring for me. And um, what did it say inside the ring? Uh, I like your dick. <laughs> what, what did it say? So, uh, something like that. Some something similar to that. Right, okay, like, it was, nah, that was for it was, y'all. It was some, yeah, it was something personal for me and her. Uh, I call a world tour. And you know, but the bottom line is, is it was it was it meant something to me regardless. And I didn't have it on, and she busted me, and I went to put it on. She grabbed it, she launched that shit. You don't wear it, so she threw it away. Launched it where? Into a crowd and people on the side of the street. And they got it. Yeah, I was just, I don't know, I was disappointed. I should have <laughs> ran and got <laughs> Can it. Can I ask you something? Did you give a fuck? Yeah, I did. Tell the truth. Did you give a fuck? Yeah, I did. did yeah, I, I won't lie. I did. Mm-hmm. I did, I did. But that was just, I was hurt. I mean, I was more mad at the time, ignorant, mad, instead of going get it, knowing that she wasn't in her right state of mind. Mm-hmm. I should have went and picked it up. And I was like, oh, that's what you want? Cool. New York, New York. We got crazy game, but out of town, out of town, it's all the same. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, crazy loop. That's because when it's beat, they ain't scared to shoot. All of them, all know how to play. Mac the 600, getting crazy pay. Who's out of Queens, got shit on lock.